Hey everybody, welcome back to Coral Gardens. It's Scott here. Um, today we're just going to be talking about this uh, coral uh, quarantine tank. Um, why I have it, how I made it, what I did to the tank, how I drilled it, the equipment that's in it, and why I use it. So, we'll get started on that right away. So, why do I have a coral quarantine tank? Well, all incoming coral will go into this tank and be quarantined for 60 days prior to going into the main tank. This will eliminate any of the, you know, ick type of things that can stay on the rocks or the plugs. I'll also do a dip to try and eliminate some flatworms and stuff. This give me a better chance of not introducing parasites into the tank. And this tank is completely separate from the main tank, yet this tank has some benefits having been connected to the main tank in a way. <clears throat> so it's separate from the main tank because there is no direct connection between this tank and the main tank in the other room. This tank is connected to the main tank via this dosing tube right here, which then goes to the apex dose and goes to the fish tank. So when I'm doing an automatic water change every day, this dosing unit will dose in two and a half gallons of water into this coral tank every single day. And that's just used water from the tank, but it's the same water as the tank, so it's good water. It's just passing through this tank first, two and a half gallons every day. So obviously the water will need to go somewhere. So we have the overflow here, and that goes down a drain in the back of the tank. So basically, this tank gets a water change of flushed water every single day from the main tank. So it's kind of a free t free water tank. And the nice thing is, it's got a nice light in here. It's got a, its own little desk. And I can come in here and observe the corals and have a look, check for pests. I can do dipping right here on the countertop. And this should hopefully eliminate the possibility of bringing in pests or at least reduce the amount of pests being brought into the main tank. Thanks for watching everybody. Next video I'll do some uh, stuff on the equipment being installed and getting it ready to go and the procedures of doing that with the tank. <laughs>